Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends once again. Thank you for stopping by. So in this video, we're going to try solve the um, Hobbywing 1060 electronic speed controller problem of it going into limp mode. Haven't a clue why it does it. It doesn't do it on all the speedos. Um, I've got two 1060s and both have done it since I got them brand new. Um, so I've got a fix, or I've been told with this will fix it. So just before we start, um, I don't want to get any arguments in the comments about this is a cheap Chinese rip-off one. It's not. You need to do your research. It's um, it's, it's made by Hobbywing, um, and they, they, they actually use these in the ready-to-run Kyosho kits. So it's not that it's a cheap knockoff. I've got to say. So as I say, um, I, I don't know why it happens. It's got nothing to do with the motors used, or the wines, or if it's NIM or or um, LiPo. It just does it, but it doesn't seem to do it on every one, which is very bizarre. Um, as I said, I've got two of them, they both do it. So in this video, I want to, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing, and then we'll go out and we'll try a standard one. I'll show you going into limp mode, um, and then we'll, it'll be a straight swap over for one that has now got this module in, and um, we'll swap it out and we'll run it and we'll see if it works. I'm very pessimistic with things like this and I just think it won't work, um, so I'm really hoping I get um, pleasantly surprised. Um, so the part that fixes it is made by Hobbywing, um, I'll give you some part numbers. So it's Hobbywing part number 860-300-30 and it's called um, Capacitors Module Stroke D, 470 microfarad, 16 volt, 2 pieces, so it's basically 2 caps. Obviously, the 1060 comes with one cap as standard. Um, so, as I say, I'm, I'm not te technically enough. I know what a capacitor does. I know it stores the voltage or the current or whatever. Um, so, let's have it. I'll show you what um, we're doing. So, this is the um, part number, just so you can see it and what it is. And that's what it looks like. So what I've done is I've got this DFO one that I've not touched yet. So I've just sort of bodged it together and I put the diffs back in because I, I stole the gear diffs out of this to put in the top force. So I've just fitted the top force ball diffs in this. Um, it's it needs a lot of work. It's not I've not even bothered cleaning it, but it'll be perfect for this. So as I said, um, I'm I'm going to run the same setup that I had in the Optima mid, which is this Yoko um, Yokomo 14 turn motor, and we're going to run it on 2S. Now it trips out in the limp mode on NIM as well, um, but I think it just does it a little bit quicker on um, LiPo. So LiPo, LiPo. <laughs> um, so what I've done is, as I say, I've just I've I've made this contraption up and it's all working. I velcroed the 1060 down. I've I'll, I will move a jumper to 2S. It's it's just on NIM for when I was testing it, and then we've got this my second 1060 which I'm going to get the soldering iron out and these um, two wires just get soldered onto the battery wires. So I just need to figure out how I'm going to do that neatly. And then obviously um, we'll go from there. What I'm going to do with this is I've just bared some of the insulation off the 1060. I've chopped some of the wires off of this capacitor module to make it shorter. And I've bared the wires a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a a hole in the middle of these uh, and then feed that through, wrap it around and then we'll solder it up. So I'll show you a close up of how I'm doing it. So I make a little um, hole in the wires, I'll just separate the, the cores um, and then feed, sorry, and then feed the wire through like I've done on this one and then twine it round and then solder it up and then it's got a really good connection. So let's do the uh, negative wire. Up. Um, now what I'm going to do, um, just while I've got soldering iron out, I'm going to take the Tamiya connectors off and fit the Deans um, for two reasons. One, I, I, want, I want to go to Deans across the board um, so I don't have to use these silly little adapters. And also, because I can chop these, this connector off, I can then use the um, heat shrink to um, slide it down, cover these joints up, make them pretty. Um, so anyway, let's do heat that next. shrink on there, um, that looks neat. Well, this will go on the side of the speedo. We'll tape it on there so it's in one place, so it looks pretty neat. Um, so I've just bared the wire, I'm just waiting for the solder iron to warm up again. Um, I've put extra heat shrink on to put over the um, 
Dean's connector and this is my extra RAM I use to hold the um, plug while I'm soldering it. Connector soldered on. It's really good to use a little wrench like this when you're doing things on your own. As you can see, they're tinned. Um, now it's just ready to move the... Probably can't do this with one hand. Oh yeah, I can. Just move the heat shrink down and over the plug. Anyway, I'll do it properly because I don't want to just bodge it. So let's get that bit done. So I'll just show you um, what I use to stick these down. It's this red um, gel tape, tape double-sided gel tape, and it is so good. It actually holds um, two and a half kilograms, which is five and a half pounds. So once it's on, it's it's on for good. It's excellent. And it, and saying that, when you want to take it off, it comes off as well. It's it's not like you're going to break it, but it's really good stuff. So I'm going to attach this to the side of there like that. Right, and that's what it looks like when it's done. Looks pretty cold to be honest. Um, obviously the 1060 has those, that little moulding where you can um, slip the switch on so it sticks to it. So it's got those little ridges which is cool. Keeps it all together. So that's that's it finished as I say. So this is going to be the spare for the car. Um, so I guess now it's really time to get the car out and um, see if it works. I just thought I'd uh, get the Velcro sorted out and just make it, connect it to make sure that it's working before we take it out. So obviously we tested, oops, we tested the other 1060, so that's the standard one. Um, and this is the one obviously with the caps, so we're all, we're all working. Right, so we're good to go. So now let's get out. Guys, let's give it a blast. So we've got a DFO one with original Avanti tires, Blazing Star, Shell, Body, and Dynastorm Wing. Right, guys, let's see what this does. Right, that's gone into limp mode. That's full speed now. See the difference? Right, let's swap it over and see what happens. Right guys, that's a new one in. So that's the old one out that we've just used. This one's on, just to show you the, the jumper settings are the correct, so it's set up for 2S. So let's see how that guys, goes. This is it, let's see what it does. That's gone miles longer already. That is absolutely awesome. What I'm just going to do now, guys, I'm just going to run the full battery down. I'm not going to bore you to death. Just more, I want to make sure it lasts. Guys, I'm over the moon. Um, I was a little bit pessimistic about it because I really didn't think it was going to work, but that was awesome. After I pressed stop on the camera our last time round, this is just run for like 10 minutes. Motor's hot, speedo's hot, everything's hot. It's quite hot out here today and that didn't go into limp mode once. So I am well chuffed. I should really put a NIM in, but I'm not gonna, because if it's, if it's gonna be fine on um, a LiPo, then it's gonna be fine on NIM, I would thought. But I'll, I'll test that later. But, so it's a cheap fix for your limp mode issue on your 1060. That unit is about seven US dollars, so five pounds, and it's 10 minutes work to do, and it fixes it, and now you've got, oh, we've got working speedos. So I'll shut up, because this is babbled on, but I'm well chuffed. Um, last thing I'll say, massive shout out to Takus for telling me to do that, much appreciated. So if you're new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us, that would be much appreciated. And as always guys, happy assing.